they fight to keep themselves alive. They come from some of the most volatile areas on the coast of southern Jamaica. And there are some real issues in those communities, real, real issues. They have gun battles. They are what many of us call garrison communities. A lot of them earn their living from drugs. Violence, poverty, lack of hope. It pains my heart sometimes when I see these students who are full of everything, with so much potential to do so well, but they don't see it. Their dream is not there. They, they figure they are less than, that they will never become any better than they are. And many times they are told that. They are told that by the society. They are told that by the circumstances that they are in. Every day I would get a call that the, the police have staked up some students off the road, that there is a fight at the corner of the street, that there is a stabbing, that every day that was just the norm. These classes weren't settled. They would spend the entire time trying to, to get the class to settle down, to do any kind of teaching. There was just this frustration. We tried everything. Everything that we could try, we brought in all kind of speakers. We brought in trainers to train them on all kind of new behavior. We tried everything. In Jamaica, the word meditation is not a good word. Something must be wrong with you, or you belong to some weird faith or something. And so, Initially, when I heard about transcendental meditation, and I'm saying, no way. No way am I getting involved in that. No. I'm very close to a Catholic priest in Jamaica, a Jesuit, um, Father Peter, and I, I told him, and he says to me, then, Margaret, how do you think I last? I said, how do you mean? He says, if I didn't meditate, I wouldn't last. I said, do you believe <laughs> I said, okay, here we go then. Lots of teachers were very skeptical. I was still skeptical. And I'm saying, well, if this can help the students, let's do it. Over time, we have improved in the sense of just helping to get the children to have a sense of self, to understand who they are, to help them to see that they are no less than. When I went to him, I felt different, I felt wonderful, and I felt new. Now that I've learned TM, I have learned how to be calm in most situations, how I say things, and how I go about doing things. I felt calm and, and safe and, and settled. I got my report from the Dean, the Dean of Discipline. So he compared it with the year before. And already we have seen the drastic decrease in the number of fights and suspension. It is there now documented. We took off the lowest performing students to put into a class that I gave a, te a teacher. She's a meditator. Her students are meditating. <laughs> that class, which was the lowest performing class in September 2015, that class is now above the highest performing class that we had. We had another class where it was a class of about 23 students who were very disruptive. The class just just settle down. That class just changed completely from being this disruptive class to the class that but now we are getting student leaders from. So I'm saying the struggle is on, fight is on, but 
we are going to go through and we are going to bake the Holy Trinity High School, a school where quiet time, where quiet meditation is practiced because we have to show the rest of Jamaica that, listen, change shall come, change can come. I do believe that change begins right inside of you. And so if we can get that change within each one of us at Holy Trinity, the change from within, we will change the school and we will in turn change the community.